Hey everybody, this is Dev Tips for Designers. My name is Chuck. <laughs> My name is Lois. I'm taking over this joint. Oh, uh, okay, everybody, this is Lois. Lois, tell them what we're gonna be learning today. Last week we learned that CSS is the language we use to give websites their look and feel. Mm-hmm. Word. Word. <laughs> CSS. It controls. <laughs> Layout, colors, and just all sorts of styles. That's right. Today we're going to be today, learning. Today, <laughs> today we're going to learn about the cascading part and cascading style sheets. You good? You like? Okay. Right. Yeah. This, there, is your, this is your channel. This is mine. There are three main ways that a style sheet will cascade in a website. The first way style sheets cascade is that one simple style can affect multiple HTML elements. Yeah, let's say we have a few paragraph tags in our, uh, in our document and all of a sudden I change my mind and I want to turn all the paragraph, all the paragraphs red. You can do this by applying a simple style. So all of the elements that match the criteria of that style rule will be affected by it. It's nice. <laughs> what do you use? Wow. <laughs> the second way that style sheets cascade is similar to the first, just a little reversed. That is, one HTML tag can be affected by many styles in different ways. Check it, all at the same time. That's right, like consider our red paragraphs there. If we wrote a style later on down in the style sheet that targeted just that first paragraph and changed it to 18 pixel font size, then we would have a paragraph that's both red and 18 pixels. Cascading, see? Cascading. What? <laughs> Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> Third way they cascade is what allows us to use the power of style sheets to create large scale websites. In this way, we can use one style sheet to affect many pages across a website or even multiple websites. Yeah, for example, on my website, I have multiple pages and they all have the same header. Now with CSS, it's super easy to achieve this. All you do is you link all your HTML pages to that same style sheet. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to, you could link that website to any style sheet across the in internet. Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> you can. You can. That's why I slapped you. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if you had to click on every paragraph and make font changes one by one to the entire website. Like if you're in Photoshop. It's a horrible life. It's ridiculous. That's why we have the awesome power of cascading style sheets. We can make radical, far-reaching changes with one simple line of code. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much. And thank you to Los for coming over to hang out with me in my garage. This is Los. You can find him at losmontoya.com. The link is in the description below. Also, please, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a comment. And if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. And maybe I'll even make a video about your question. Don't forget to subscribe. Click to subscribe if you want to get new videos every Monday. And if your friends don't subscribe, and if they don't subscribe, well, there are no friends of mine. You subscribe. Click to subscribe. Everybody's doing it, yeah. Click to subscribe. Click to subscribe. New videos every Monday. Oh. oh, oh, oh.